Hey RVBA students, uh, this video we're going to go over the stances for every pattern. Uh, whether you are a yellow belt all the way up to black belt, every stance is going to look the same regardless of your rank. Uh, we're going to go over the middle stance, the front stance, the back stance, and the X stance. So first we're going to start with the middle stance. You'll start with your feet shoulder width apart, and then from here you're going to go double shoulder width apart, all ten toes facing the way that your body is facing, and then you're just gonna drop your weight. It's called a horse stance uh, because it looks like you're riding a horse, also a middle stance because your weight is all the way in the middle. From this stance, the weight of your body should be on the outside edges of your feet, and you should just be able to lift your big toe off the ground without any issues. Uh, from your middle stance, I would like everyone to do 10 punches, 10 high blocks, 10 muscle blocks, and 10 chops. And we're gonna do that three times each, okay? Moving on to your back stance. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna put them all the way together. You're gonna to turn whatever side you're going to, take that foot, turn it all the way to that side so your feet should look like the letter L, okay? From here, you're gonna take two steps out, one, two, and here is your back stance, and then all of your weight is gonna go on your back leg. Back foot facing this way, front foot facing the way the move is going. If you think you have a good enough back stance, you should be able to kick with that front leg without having to shift or without having to move your feet. So you're gonna turn your foot out, two steps, one, two, most of the weight on that back leg, and then hands up in the direction you're going. So what I would like for you to do is do a back stance, step together, step out on the other side, back stance. And you can do a double knife hand, you can do a square block, you can make up a move, but I want 10 back stances on both sides three times. On your front stance, uh, parents, if they have if they have sticks, you can get these. These are a good tool to work for front stances. If they don't, you can take some tape, lay it out in a straight line on the ground, and just go from there. So with the sticks, you'll lay them end to end, and you'll start with one foot on either side. Toes facing the front. Whatever foot steps forward is gonna stay on that side of the stick, keeping both feet flat on the ground, all 10 toes going to the front, body upright. And then when you step forward, make sure your child is not stepping on the same side of that line. They wanna keep their feet, left foot on the left side, right foot on the right side. And what you can do is you can step backwards into the front stance, you can step forward into the front stance, and you can give me punches, high blocks, low blocks, muscle blocks. But I want 10 good front stances with a move three times each. The next stance is the X stance. This is not a yellow belt stance. Uh, green belt kids, this is not a stance for you guys, but it is in a couple of patterns out there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start feet apart, you're gonna step forward with one foot, and you're gonna turn it. After you turn that foot, the other one is gonna go behind it on the ball of the foot. So when you make this stance, it should be one, two. One, two, here. And when you do that, you can do a muscle block with it too. And the move will hit when the back foot hits the ground. And then on the left side, the left foot steps. One, all right, guys, if you've practiced all those stances, here's a fun game you can play uh, with mom, dad, sibling, whoever's around. Uh, you both can stand feet together. Uh, kid, you name out one of the stances, okay? Just name out the basic three, the front, middle, or back stance, okay? Pick a stance you and mom or dad can do together, and then you go one, two, three, go. And on go, you try to make the fastest stance, but it also has to look the best. And it's a good competition for mom and dad, as well as the students. Uh, thank you guys, I hope you have some fun with that.